Phillips, and Blake is kind enough to join us now. Hello, Blake. Hello. So you're in the chair. You got Sean out of there. I'm in the chair. Yeah. Sean's gone. <laughs> you guys are welcome, by the way. <laughs> Blake. Two more laughs with you. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Blake, what was the, you know, you, you talked about, um, and we even talked about this a little bit at Adam Harrington's charity event the mm -hmm. other night, but you talked a little bit about how it was, a, it was an obvious decision for you to want to come back here, feeling like there was unfinished business and, and up and down, really appreciating the organization. What is it about the experience that made it clear, no, this is where I want to be? Uh, I think as a player, you look like top to bottom of an organization, you know, and, and you know, you, you, you've been in situations, especially if you've played for, you know, 12 years now, uh, where, you know, top to bottom, it's not a completely put together organization. And, and, and that's, that's fine. It, it happens all the time. But when I got here, the one thing I did notice was, you know, from it felt like from A to Z, they've thought of everything. Yeah. Um, and, and like I said, that's that's rare. Uh, so when you have all of this combined together, um, it was sort of a no-brainer for me. Like it was, we obviously were able to see it, talk about it so often, but how quickly you acclimated your, yourself to this team, to the roster, to the needs, mm -hmm. exactly how you were able to fit in. Do you start to think now about the concept of a full off season, a true preseason, just how much of a difference that will make for you? And Someone's we, screaming, we got, yeah. some, we got a lot of crazy Someone's really stuff. enjoying their promo video. Right. But uh, go ahead, Sarah. Yeah. Uh, just just what that will be like uh, to have that much more of a runway of time with this group. Yeah, I think, you know, just continuity um, and, and like you said, a, a healthy offseason is sort of the first time I've, I've really, even though it was like a two-month offseason or whatever it was, it felt like two months, um, you know, just being able to come in and, and have that continuity, be able to, to build upon the things I built last year during the season. Um, is important for me. So, you know, it's been great just because I was able to work on different parts of my game and sort of focus focus in more on, on my game now, specifically with this team, mm. um, because it always kind of changes. And, and coming here, I had to sort of play a little bit different role um, than, than, than normal. So I'm excited for, for all of that to sort of come together. What was the thing, if there's something, Blake, that stood out most to you about playing with Kevin and playing with James. What mm -hmm. what would be the things that that stood out most about that experience and what it's like being on the floor with those guys? Um, I think I, I mean everybody sees sort of the obvious, right? Like how well they score the ball, the way they score the ball, um, James's handle, KD being able to shoot over anybody. But I think the thing that goes a little bit unno or I think it goes unnoticed is their their basketball IQ mm. and how much you're talking the game with them how much they're, they're they're thinking through so a lot of it for me was sort of getting on the same page as to how they think you know what I mean because yeah. there's, there's just different ways to, to play basketball there's different ways to accomplish something but if you're on the same page with somebody and somebody who's that the guys that are that dynamic and that, that good at scoring I think you just sort of you just try to watch them you try to see what they're doing and you try to fill in those gaps like I said how much does that make a difference I think we saw that even with your group last year and then you think about the way this roster has been filled out but does that get overlooked basketball IQ as a collective of a group because in many ways you know you look at a lot of the individuals on this team and just the feel for the game the feel you all had mm -hmm. for each other there was a chemistry it seemed like with the group with the rotation especially with players in and out and injury and dealing with that how you're able to overcome that based on y your smarts or feel for the game yeah I think I think for the most part most of the guys on the team last year and I feel like it's probably going to be this way again too I think everybody sort of thinks the same way I mean we're, we're all sort of like in a certain age range you know yeah. some guys <laughs> a little older um, <laughs> but you know I, I've known these guys for so long and I think that 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 shouldn't go unnoticed um, that, that, you know, when you get sort of some like-minded players together, it's a little bit easier. Um, guys that are familiar with being around each other, you know, play pickup with them in the summer, workouts in the summer, you, Team USA, whatever whatever it's been, we've sort of been around each other a little bit, and obviously some guys more than others, but um, I, think it, I think it does help. Blake, we appreciate the time, man. We appreciate you kicking Sean out of the chair as well, getting that done for us. You're welcome. Anytime you need that. <laughs> and we, uh, good luck with the season. We look forward to watching you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate Thank you, Blake. it.